Okay, so here it is, the Flywheel 04 Wide Lens Adapter Kit. And this one here comes in two versions, both as the adapter kit by itself, or like in my version here with the additional ND filter set. So let's open this up and see how it looks. And the first thing here is a microfiber cloth to clean the lens. And then you have the actual wide lens adapter right here. Now this looks a little bit different than what I expected. Now on the website, it looks like this was gonna be some kind of a metallic or aluminum alloy, but this looks to be like a 3D printed kind of part with a modified lens. And this one also has the UV filter already uh, installed on it. So if you're gonna order this by itself, it does come with a UV filter to actually protect your lens. Now mine does have the additional set here with the UV filter, as we can see. So now I have two UV filters. Looks like an ND filter here, ND16. I'm sure it's gonna be an ND32, and the last one has to be eight ND filters. So pretty cool, we have three NDs and a UV filter here to actually protect your wide angle lens. Now, one disclaimer about this whole wide angle lens is that you need to have the actual O4 adapter kit. Now, I have one right here, this is a red version here, and this converts the abnormal kind of shape of the O4 camera to somewhat of a 14 millimeter kind of camera mount right here. Now I have it installed here on my Pavel Femto and this thing here works very, very well. In fact, I've done a full review on this adapter kit and I'll leave it linked above and below so you can take a look at it. Now it's not gonna fit on here with this ND filter on, so let's just unscrew that and remove it and you can see the lens right on here. I wanna see if there's gonna be a difference in image here, so I'm gonna power on my drone and see how the image looks before and after I include this wide angle lens. All right, and let's just plug the drone in and see if we get an image. And we have an image right here, as you can see. Pretty nice image. All right. I'm gonna put this down right here, before and after, here we are. And once we put the lens on, we'll see, we'll see if it's a little bit wider. So I'll put it right here. So let's install this wide angle lens and see if there's any difference here. Just gonna slip this on. There we go. There we go. That's all the way in there. Now we have a wide angle lens. Is that the same place? Oh yeah, that's significantly wider. That is significantly wider before it was cut off right here. And we could only see the cushion, the yellow one. Now we can see this green one and the additional plants and books on the shelf there. So it is significantly wider guys. So it is very wide. Now I have this pushed in all the way in here, but there is some kind of a vignetting or like a border. You can see the rim of the actual 3D printed pa uh, part. And yes, it is flush all the way in here. I don't think it's a deal breaker guys. I do think that, you know, once you stabilize this, those borders are gonna go away. What do you think? It is significantly wider. So let's go outside, take this for a flight and see how the image look with the wider field of view guys.
Okay, so back from our flight test on the Flyro Wide Lens Adapter Kit, did a pretty okay job. It's not perfect by any means, but it does get the job done. Now let's start off with the physical product here. And at first I did think that this was kind of a weird decision to go with a 3D printed wide angle lens. But on second thought, I, I'm actually pretty glad that they did that because this thing here is actually very durable and it's super light. In fact, let's get the scale to weigh this. And Okay, so it's showing three grams. Not that heavy by any means. Now, if you're flying something very, very light, maybe a 65 millimeter tiny whoop, uh, you might want to have wide angle on your drone and every gram does count, but I don't think three grams is too much. It's not too heavy, but I know some will disagree. Um, if you're flying anything larger like this, Femto even larger, then this is pretty perfect. I actually can't feel the difference at all in weight on a drone of this size. Now, if you are using the Femto, I know a lot of guys have this drone here, or at least the canopy for this drone here, you will have to modify it a little bit, only because this thing here does stick out a little bit further compared to the actual adapter. And you can see it kind of goes out a little bit further. Now, besides that the ND filters does fit really well on this wide lens adapter kit. In fact, it's really, really tight and snug in here. It's a really good design. There's no light leaks. But because of this design, you will, I guarantee you will get some fingerprints on this actual lens. So if you're going to do like a filter change in the field, just make sure you have maybe a microfiber cloth or some lens clean and white because this thing here will get some fingerprints. That's the only downside of this. It's pretty much a glass without any borders. So you will be directly touching this glass overall. But we said that the fit and finish of this is pretty cool. I do think that they used an okay 3D printer on this. The quality isn't bad at all. So overall, the physical product is pretty good. Since we're talking about ND filters here, let's talk about the image quality using this wide lens adapter kit here. As far as the image, it's pretty good. It's uh, no different than the actual image coming from the O4 Air unit. I did use an ND filter today. And guys, I did fly this drone in pretty much the worst conditions ever. This is like around 1 or 2 p.m. with the sun directly above me. The most harsh lighting in here. Now, I did fly this with an ND8 filter. And it did a pretty good job, guys. Now, this doesn't have the best dynamic range. But I did get some motion blur using this ND filter. And in fact, I probably could have gone a little bit darker. Maybe use the ND16 to get even more motion blur. The image also was vibration on Jello Free, which is something that we kind of struggle with with the O4 Air unit. Uh, something that I struggle with a lot using this Femto drone here. And I don't know if it's a combination of the actual ND filter. Now I do have some grommets on this camera mount and I did talk about this a little bit earlier when I did review this actual adapter kit by Flywoo. Now I didn't have the opportunity to fly this during sunrise or sunset, so not really a direct stare into the sun. So I don't know how the actual lens flare would be on this but during my normal testing in the daytime the lens seemed to be pretty good now i did also fly this without the nd filter i did fly this with just the uv filter and the image wasn't bad at all guys so i do think it's a pretty good product considering this is around like 12 dollars not too bad overall now that leads us to the visibility and field of view of this wide lens adapter kit which is probably why you look at this in the first place how did this thing perform with the field of view now with this thing here installed, the field of view was increased. We started earlier here in the studio and it was very significant guys. So if you do want a wider field of view and that's all you care about, this product does do that. Now you have multiple options with this drone here, especially in the settings. You can have a four by three aspect ratio, 16 by nine. Um, you can have it stabilized internally here with the Rocksteady or externally with the Gyroful software. And yes, I did do my testing using all those options and I did get varied results. Let's first talk about using this with the Rocksteady in 16 by nine. In this case, the image was pretty good guys. No qualms about it. This thing does a really good job. I don't think it's as good as Gyroflow, unfortunately, but it does work and the image looks as you would expect. There is a wider field of view. And if that's what you're looking for, just a plug and play, put this on here put the Rocksteady on, then you'll have a really good result. 
Now I did also try this in the four by three aspect ratio and the results were very similar. Really good image. I did get a four by three aspect ratio. Rock City did a pretty good job and really no issues about it. So in those two aspects, this thing worked pretty much flawlessly. Now the last option would be using this in gyro flow and that requires you to go into the four by three aspect ratio without rock steady. That's the only way you're gonna get gyro information to stabilize this on your computer. Now using that method, I was able to see a ring or like a vignetting. Well, it is a ring. Now that is visible in your goggles as well as in your recording. Now, if you have no intention of stabilizing this, if you just take the image straight out and replay it, you will see that ring around the image. It doesn't move. It looks, it, it is kind of distracting. It is right there. It is not a obstruction free image. Now I was hoping that you saw before as I went for my flight, I was hoping that once we stabilize the image, those borders would go away. But unfortunately, depending on how aggressively you fly or how aggressively you stabilize your image, you will see some creeping of that border in your image. In fact, wh while I'm here talking about, let's just show it to you right now. I have it right here. Here is the Gyroflow software. And here's an image or a video that I just shot literally this morning. And you can see right here, this is with the Gyroflow off. And this is using the four by three sensor here with Rocksteady off. And if you play this, you can easily see the rim around the actual camera here, the adapter here. As you can see, it's not stabilized. The drone is doing a good job trying to absorb all the bumps. And it works very, very well, guys, as you can see right here. So let's go back here again and let's turn the actual well, you can see it right here actually you can see some of that border creeping in right there left and right and the image is very very smooth so it's doing a good job stabilizing obviously you can change all of that settings in gyro flow but you can see some creeping to the left sometimes to the right depending on how fast you bank obviously this is based upon how aggressively you fly your drone and then once you stabilize it you can see where that's creeping into your 16 by nine aspect ratio. And here it is. So I just wish that wasn't a thing. You can see how that's just creeping into the frame there. And if you remove it, you can see parts of it just creeping into your frame. Now there are ways around this guys, and you can each just crop into that frame and eliminate those borders. Now, that's not the most ideal thing. That's the thing I really didn't want to do only because the whole point of the wide angle lens is to get the maximum resolution out of your sensor. You wanna have that native four by three sensor and get the most field of view. By me just zooming in or cropping in, two things happen. I lose resolution, obviously. That's the first thing which makes the sensor not so nice and not so clear. And this is obviously a small sensor here. And the second thing here is as you crop and you also lose field of view, which is kind of the opposite of what you want. Kind of negates and cancels out the actual purpose of this whole device to begin with. Um, that's the only way I can see that being fixed. And you can also do it here in Gyroflow as well. As you can see, let's go to a point where that's actually visible. Like right here, we can just stop right here. And if you go to your field of view, you can change that. It's at the one right now, which is standard. And if you just reduce it a little bit, you can get rid of that border altogether. And there you go. It kind of zoomed in a little bit, but the field of view has changed, which is why you're getting this adapter in the first place. But it looks pretty nice. In fact, I didn't even think about that while I was doing the actual gyroflow software in the video you saw. Um, I actually used my editor to actually punch in a little bit and just crop those borders off. But this seems to be doing it actually a better job and um, yeah, it looks pretty good. So now looking at this, is there any way to actually fix that? If it was me, I would just try to get a drill or Dremel, some kind of rot rotating tool and just bore this out a little bit, make this hole or diameter a little bit bigger and therefore this won't be shown in the camera, but I don't see any way how I could do that safely. Either I'm gonna introduce particles, debris into the actual lens, or I might actually end up scratching the lens altogether. And that's something that I really don't want to do. Now guys, 
I'll reiterate this one more time. This only happens if you want to stabilize your footage in gyro flow. If you take the four by three sensor, put it into gyro flow, then you'll see those kind of borders. If you're going to use any kind of rock steady in any format, whether it be four by three or 16 by nine, you don't have that issue using rock steady. So, and the funny thing is guys, at least for me is using O3, I prefer the rock steady, but all of my O4 products, I actually prefer the gyro flow software. It seems to be giving me better results overall. Okay, so overall, what do I think about the Flywheel Wide Lens Adapter? Well, I do think that Flywheel kind of, that did deliver on their promise. You do get a better field of view. There are some caveats in there. If you're gonna fly this with the Rocksteady, you'll have no image at all. And this thing does deliver on its promise. If you are gonna use the Gyroflow software, you have to do some more tweaking. You can get really good results uh, but there is that little halo in there. Now, if you can live with that, then this might be the perfect product for you. It's very light, it looks very durable, and to be honest with you guys, I don't think DJI is gonna give us a solution anytime soon. So this is the best that we have. It's very, very light, and unless you're flying a 65 millimeter whoop or tiny whoop, then this should work for you pretty well, guys. Now, if you wanna see how to actually adapt your camera here O4 to this 40 millimeter mount. I've done a full review showing how this works and actually the ND filter on it as well. I'll do a video linked above and below so you can take a look at it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.